Hello, it's Master Use. I am back from Arkansas, shaggy as a shag can be. And uh, three week trip in the woods, three weeks, shooting film, dealing with eight foot long rattlesnakes. That's the truth. Bigger than marm. It's bigger than marm. Eight foot long rattlesnakes, big foot. Finding strange things. We found some really strange evidence. We found evidence that somebody has got a gifting station for Bigfoot up there. Uh, and then, you know, it was a little hot this year. Uh, I enjoy going up there. It's beautiful in Arkansas. And uh, we are back. I actually have two movies. We're trying to finish right now. The one we just did and one previous that is late. Uh, and we're partly we're partly late on, on this. There's a lot of problems going on with the movie aggregators. They are paying us literally nothing for these films. And uh, unfortunately, you get a lot of really poor quality films because it takes me a couple thousand dollars just to crank a little film up. People don't understand this. I'm not operating with friends. I run a business. You know, some of these guys go out to their friends and they shoot a Bigfoot movie sitting around camping, and that's not what I'm doing. Uh, I come out with some great stuff. And my, my camera, my cine camera, is actually very small. And then you go look at the major film companies that are doing Bigfoot films, and they're, i got to admit, slightly better on cinematography. I have one small cine camera. The, here's the thing. I'm actually going up there. They are operating cinema cameras that are bigger than my arm. To get those shots. There is no way I can actually climb these hills, these ridges, and go in these places with a camera that big. You guys get me? My stuff is real. The other stuff is fake. They got huge cinema cameras out there doing it and saying they're out in the middle of nowhere. There's not any truth to it. I was out in the middle of nowhere. I know what nowhere is like. And uh, my cinema camera is... is it's big enough, it's several pounds, but I'm able to carry that. And if I can't carry it because it's just too rugged, I have this special 4K phone, which I can do some fill-in shots with. Because I'm telling you, I'm actually out there doing it in some very, very rugged places. The big film companies are not doing that. You know, they are not doing it. There's no way they're carrying. They'd have to have a lot of guys just to carry the camera up the hill. So there's there's difference between my film uh, work and the big companies. The big companies can do all sorts of stuff. They got helicopters flying. They got all that. But my films come up more stuff or more accurate or have more truth in them and more adventure than the big companies. All right, enough said. Uh, I know I got people already waiting for the film to be out. I've actually had another film company ask me to produce a film for them. A lot of people don't even understand how hard this is right now in this economy. Uh, so many film companies, to even list my film, want $2,000. I have to pay them $2,000, some of these film companies, to get them to list my film. And then they make no effort to promote or show it. If it shows, it does. If it don't show, it's just my loss. You guys don't know all this. And luckily, I have a very, very loyal fan base. It's kept me afloat uh, because I actually get about one penny a viewer. There is no way anybody's in profit right now. But anyway, uh, they are coming out. I'm having work on this slowly. I, I, I'm close to Houston, and I have trouble getting people who can really operate camera or an editor. I really have problems getting it. 
uh, you'd be surprised how many people want to be in the movies and they know nothing about this stuff. And so um, I am using a cinema film camera primarily now, and I've got another camera that's right up with the same quality because they're smaller cameras and there is no way, no way I am climbing that ridge with a 12, 14 pound camera. Yeah. Now you see why I do it like I do it. And we come up with some great stuff. And so anyway, I'm back. I had an adventure. There's all sorts of stuff went on. I had some issues and, and you know, with, with a city up there. Uh, we got a call wanting us to come to another event. And I said, tell them, look, I can't promise. I stay pretty booked. I stay, you know. And uh, so I'm getting invitations in everywhere. And if I can't take it, please understand. One, if I take a couple of days off, I may be losing $2,000 in revenue somewhere else. And a lot of people don't understand that. Or, or maybe more sometimes. So anyway... There was a giant rattlesnake, and there were strange things happening in the woods. We have we have a couple of strange night pictures taken with a thermal. We use black and white thermal, and I'm not sure about them, but they show something very very strange. All right, this is Master Use. I'm back. I'm gonna be working on the editing. I gotta clean up my office, and I gotta get other things going. Long live Bigfoot.